Hello and welcome to Coders Column. My name is Sunny Sulanki, and in today's video, I will explain how to create Venn diagrams using Python data visualization library Matplotlib. We'll be creating charts in Jupyter Notebook. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see on my screen, I already have a Jupyter Notebook open, and at the beginning of the notebook, I have included a sample image showing a sample Venn diagram. So this is the Venn diagram of data science, which is commonly shared at many different uh, places. So we'll be trying to create this exact Venn diagram using Matplotlib. So let's get started with the coding part. So first of all, I have imported library Matplotlib and printed the current version. So this is the latest and stable version that we'll be using to create our Venn diagram. Now in order to create a Venn diagram, first of all, I need to import Pyplot API of Matplotlib. We'll be creating charts using this Pyplot API. So now in order to create a chart, first of all, I will create a figure object. I will set figure size to let's say 12 by 12. So it, we have a big figure. And I will set it to figure object. Then I will create an axis object by calling add subplot method one 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 row one column and one is the index of that chart because we have we will have only one Venn diagram so i will save it to x so this will be the axis object now we have created figure object and axis object so let's create uh, circles first so first of all we will create these three circles and then we will add text one one by one to them so we can create circle using scatter methods so for x axis i will say for let's just create a first circle initial y is equal to zero at zero zero position let's say size to hundred color to red and let's see how this one looks then we will modify it so the property name for size is s not un size so as you can see we have initial point but this one looks quite small so let me modify it 1000 or let's say 10000 let's try 10000 this one is bigger but let's try 100000 okay we can modify it even further 150,000. So, as you can see, this circle looks better. Let me reduce opacity. So, yeah, now this one looks better. So, let's add the second circle, this one, the green one. So, I will move by little bit for x coordinate 0 0.25, y coordinate will be 0 because that circle will be next to this circle only colors we need to give as a list so first was red next let's say green and let me execute this one okay so now we have two circles but they are not uh, overriding one another so uh, let's set limit for x and y axis so I, what i will do first of all i will set x limit let me set minus one to one and see whether it's working or not Okay, the minus one and two one seems to be working. But I think we should change this limit. So let me try 0 0.25 to 1. Okay. Why 0 0.5? Let me try. Okay, 0. 25 to 0 0.5 let's try okay now this one looks better so we have uh, two circles ready let's add one more circle so for the third circle the middle point will be between 0 to 0 0.25 and it will be little below this two circles so i will say let's say 0 0.13 so 0 0.125 is between 0 to 0 0.25 but let's say 1 0 0.13 and for y axis let's move it below so minus 0 0.2 let's set color to 
purple and see how it okay and we can see that our circles are getting cut so we need to set y limit as well clearly got y limit i will set to minus 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 let's see okay 0 0.4 think that minus 0 0.4 to 0 0.2 should work and yeah so now we have our chart ready as you can see we have three circles ready now we just need to add text to this chart and remove these lined lines which are around our main chart so first of all what i will do is that i will add text to this chart so let me do that so we will be using plt.text method to add various texts which are over here hacking skills math and statistics knowledge sub substantive expertise danger zone data science and so on so actually i already have a code for it ready because i found out these positions at the beginning of the tutorial when i was creating this tutorial i tried various positions and so these are the positions of hacking skills and various texts so first value to plt.text is x coordinate second is y coordinate then what is the string then if we want to rotate a text so over here i have rotated by 50 degree then i will specify font size font weight is bold and color is different for different tags so let me execute this one and show you how our modify when when diagram looks now if you have a different uh, coordinates for your circles and different coordinates for your circles and different size for a figure then you will need to try different coordinate values in order to properly align your text so these are the values that i found out when i created this tutorial and as you can see the values are not easy to remember so you will have to try various values so let me execute this cell and now as you can see we have our venn diagram ready we have all the text added to the venn diagram to each of the circles we have text and at the intersections of the circles also we have text so what next i will do is that i will add a title to this chart let's say data science venn diagram i will say padding by 25 pixel let's say 20 pixel font size i will set to 35 font weight will be bold so that's the title and now let's uh, let me execute and show you how it looks with the title so this is the how it looks with title let's remove this uh, square around our chart so we can do that by calling spines on our axis object which we created over here and we can give a list of strings specifying which spines we want to remove so i want to remove all four spines top bottom left and right and then we need to call set visible method method on this one and give it value false to ask it to hide these four lines as you can see all the four lines are gone now we only have this tick labels and ticks so we can hide that as well so what i will do over here is that on axis i will call y axis and i will say set visible to false it will hide y axis ticks so let me execute as you can see y axis let's hide x axis ticks as well okay so now as you can see we are done with our data science one diagram so it, it's that easy to create a Venn diagram using matplotlib. So that's it for today's tutorial. Now, if you liked our video and if you learned something new today, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more about Python. And see you next time.